What's up guys, Silver here with another Halo Infinite Achievement Guide. This time we're doing You, Me, Same Page, which is in co-op, destroy all cooling towers at the dig site within 60 seconds of each other. So start up the mission, excavation site, and you could do this on any difficulty. I'm doing it on easy, which I recommend, and you could do it with any amount of skulls on. So you could put on bandana, that will allow you to grapple much faster. And the one thing we want to get before we start this off is get the tank gun. So we're going to go start up the mission recovery. This actually sends us all the way back to Outpost Tremonius, where recovery actually starts. You'll start off facing the Pelican, but don't get in there just yet. Turn around and go up to the top of this ship. There are two turrets on top. You want to go to the one on the left side and go stand on the tip of the gun on the left turret. And that will allow you to get a tank gun. So get up here and you'll see you have the option to exchange your weapon for something. Grab that. That is the tank gun. It is super OP and has unlimited ammo. Doesn't hurt you. And uh, we're going to use this to quickly and easily take out all of the cooling towers at the dig site. So pull up your map now again. We'll go to the excavation site. Go to replay mission so that will get us to fast travel there and start up the mission so we could do this. The other component of this is you obviously need to be playing with somebody, at least one other person, because it is a co-op achievement. So if you don't have anybody that you could play with, I actually have a second account signed in. So that is possible to do all this with only one person effectively uh, handling a controller. So if you have a spare Xbox or a spare PC, you could do that, sign in a second account. It becomes a lot easier if you have partners that are actually helping you out, of course. But I'll show you here that worst case scenario, you could fairly easily pull this off. Go to the nav point that will activate the cutscene to activate the laser to get enemies to spawn in. And what I do is I clear out all of the enemies that spawn in. So it's just totally barren again of enemies. And that way it's easier to do what you need to do later. So kill all the enemies, then go up into the drill itself and kill all the enemies up there and then activate the console up there. That will get another wave of enemies to spawn in around you. Clear all those guys out. So we just have the pylons, the cooling uh, towers, whatever they're called, that we have to take out. You don't want to activate them until you're ready to take them out because the timer actually starts as soon as they come up out of the ground rather than when we were on Ransom Keep and we had to destroy the four silos. You could pull those up out of the ground and they could just be sitting there for hours. But as long as you destroyed all four within five seconds of each other, you got the achievement. This, however, is different. The timer starts when they start rising up out of the ground rather than when you destroy your first tower. But I'll skip ahead here until the point where I've cleared out all the enemies. So now it's just me and the two controls that I have to activate, which will get the four towers to come up out of the ground. So like I mentioned, the timer starts as soon as I hit one of these controls. So what I want to do is hit both of them at the same time, ideally. So what I'm going to do is get my second controller that's just idle, just standing around. Have that second account walk over here to this set of controls and position him in such a way so that he's ready to actually activate this set of controls over here so I don't have to even look at that screen anymore. I can just press the button when I'm ready. This is the easternmost set of controls. There's another set of controls more on the west side, so I'm going to go over there with my primary account in a second and I will activate both at the same time, essentially having my hands on two controllers at the same time. So one hand's going to hit one button on one controller, my other hand's going to hit another button on the other controllers. And that way all four of these cooling towers will pop up out of the ground at the same time, so I have 60 seconds from that point on to destroy all of them. So you can see I'm using my scan function here to highlight the console over here. We're going to go up to this one like we did with the other one with our other account, and we're going to hit the buttons at the same time, just like I mentioned, so I'm doing that off screen with my other account. I'm just basically mashing the two controls at the same time. Like I mentioned, you can see I shot the first cooling tower out of four on the right side of the map here. Now we're going to go to the left. We kind of got to wrap up and around here into this cave like structure, blow up that second one. Now we're going to go over here towards the center of the map. We're going to grapple onto the top of the drill over here, this big structure, and we'll get on top of the roof. And from here, we will have a good vantage point to tank gun the rest of them the other two on the other side over here. So we'll just keep grappling, keep sprinting, keep using that scan function that gets the cooling towers to stay highlighted so it makes it a lot easier to find them and pick them off. If you fail, you could always restart the mission and try again by hitting pause and then going down to restart. And if you don't have the luxury of having a spare PC or an Xbox to kind of sign in a second account like I did here, you could always head to the HC Discord, which was essentially made for these types of achievements within Halo. It's basically a community of Halo achievement hunters that team up and help each other out for, you know, achievements that you can't really get easily on your own. So check out the link in the description for that. The HC Discord is what you're looking for. That's it for this one, guys. I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, be sure to click on the scorpion icon to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. You can also check out some related guides by clicking on the videos on screen, and you can find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Halo guides, and I'll see you in the next one.